Alright, so today we delve into sound effects. Woohoo! Uh, so I'm going to teach you three ways uh, of how to get sound effects for your game. The first way is, well, there are many more than the three I'm going to tell you about, but these are my three ways that I use. So the first way is a little tool called SFXR, and you can go ahead and download that for Mac uh, and or Windows uh, or Linux. There it is, Linux. Woo. Uh, so I'm just going to download that. And I'm just going to save it in the extra crap folder. That's what it's for, isn't it? Uh, show in folder, extract files, and awesome. Let's run it. And there you go. Okay, so you can just play around with this yourself. Uh, so play some. Awesome. Uh, you can randomize. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know why I'm getting that error. If anyone knows what that is, feel free to let me know. So it does export into WAV. Uh, so cool sound. And libgdx does support WAV, MP3, OG, whatever. Uh, so that has, there's our first way. So I'm just going to use that sound uh, for when we actually go back into our workspace. Um, second method is a site called freesound.org. This is literally a place where you can get royalty free sound effects for your games. And what I like to, you do need an account to download sounds by the way. And what I like to do is uh, go on here and browse tags one shot and these are like you know your one shot kind of sound effects you know for like main menus and shit. Uh, so my third way, uh, I'm not going to show you, but my third way is to just record sounds in your environment. You know, record sounds from nature, record sounds uh, in your home, record musical instruments, you know, just a note uh, or something. And then what I like to do is put that into a program called Audacity, which I should have uh, open. Alright, so here's Audacity uh, for Mac, Windows, and Linux, so don't worry, and it is open source, uh, I think. <laughs> it looks open source. It looks like, you know, an open source website. If you get what I mean. Yeah, yeah there it is, there it is. Uh, so anyways, and then I just like to put it into there, mess around with the pitch, mess around with the tempo, and you know, just get, you know, shit like that. Um, I once got a nice sound effect uh, by recording a leaf dropping. Okay, I recorded the leaf drop, I amplified the sound like shitloads, and then changed the pitch, and it actually turned out pretty cool. So yeah, just do, do stuff like that. So those are my three methods. Now we've got a sound effect, so let's hop back into Eclipse. Alright, so I'm going to get this uh, cool sound at WAV, and stick it into my assets folder. And now I'm going to load it. So cool sound equals, uh, sorry, not new, it equals GDX audio dot new sound for some reason I don't know don't ask me I, I, I was confused by this logic would determine that it would be just new sound and then you know GDX files but no no that's uh, a cool sound dot love we'll go into game screen and I don't know if I've introduced this to you but the show method what does that do the show method is literally uh, things that happen as soon as you know the screen starts. You know it just runs once and it just happens. Um, so I'm just literally going to put assets dot cool sound dot play. And you and there we go. Uh, hopefully you heard it there. But yeah, uh, you can also mess around with you know stuff like just do it up here. Assets dot cool sound for Christ's sakes. And you've got, you know, loop, uh, there's a pitch here, pitch somewhere, pitch, set priority, so maybe if you, you've got loads of sounds playing and you want one prioritized over the other, uh, volume, stop, yeah, you know, all, all this kind of stuff you'd expect with some bonus stuffs like the uh, uh, priority stuffs, bonus stuffs. I don't know. Uh, so that's pretty much ended this uh, tutorial. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Fantastically brilliant day. Bye bye.